What's going on, Reject Nation? I'm Greg Alba. And I'm John Humphrey. So we're going to watch the trailer for Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. Yeah, James Marsden meets Wonder Woman. I'm excited it's for this. Multiple women. Yeah. Multiple. It's not a man. They it's cloned woman. her. It's the future. No, dude. Professor Marston is the guy who invented the polygraph, invented Wonder Woman. It wasn't a polyamorous, that's the word for it, right? <laughs> polyamorous relationship with two women. Oh, it's this story. Okay, I've, yeah. actually, I've actually read about this. I'm assuming that's what this is, consuming, uh, consuming, assuming who Professor Marston is and that he did all those things. Probably about the relationship and stuff. <laughs> As well I sometimes know a thing or two. I can guarantee you so many people click on this thing and it's had something to do with like a Wonder Woman sequel or something. Comment sections must be going through uh... the roof. Let's look through them later. <laughs> Who's Charles Moulton? That is my pseudonym. Why don't you write Wonder Woman under your real name? Because most Americans have a low opinion of comic book writers? Or is it something else? Luke Evans. And at Purna, they heard Wonder Woman movie was coming out. <laughs> the person is most happy when they are submissive to a loving authority. Really? Then I'll study her. She'll break your heart. You'll be jealous. I'm your wife, not your jailer. It's Rebecca Hall, man. I think you long for an unconventional life. Maybe I just want her because you do. You think it's possible to love two people at the same time? Oh, man. Why not? Nice. What is wrong? This can never happen. The world won't let it. Oh. Is this what you really want? Interesting. Dr. Marston, every issue of Wonder Woman is filled with violence, torture, and sadomasochism. This abnormal behavior in your comic is reckless. A woman must not be told how to use her freedom. She must find out for herself. If you want to understand the mind of a woman, you can start with that. You are brilliant, pure of heart, hilarious, ferocious. You are my life. Wow. Wonder Woman has a secret identity. Why is that? She has to hide her true self from man's world. What would happen if Wonder Woman's secret identity was revealed? Everything would be lost. Wow, I had a whole I wonder life. if you were the one with the secret identity. Cinematic dubstep. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Baby, if you're watching, let's do this. Yeah. Let's make one of these polyamorous. Let's get polyamorous, write some comic Relationships books. happen, let's man. It. it looks like it all turned out very well for them and mm -hmm. had no dramatic implications whatsoever. I know some polyamorous people and it seems like it works for them. I've uh, known some people who've been in polyamorous, serious relationships and well, it didn't turn out well for them at all. It was actually quite horrible, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> I imagine it would be quite hard to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't think it can't work, but I feel like it, it can would be, be very tricky. emotionally confusing yeah. from my understanding. So this story is just about the luckiest guy in the world. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Video's done. Bye. Wonder Woman created by a man. I wonder if this movie was greenlit when they heard about the Wonder Woman movie coming out. Or if they already had this in mind. That's a great question. Yeah. Because this is a this is an interesting topic for a movie because it touches on a lot of different things. It's like it touches on Wonder Woman, which is, you know, hugely recognizable, but it also touches on, you know, a way of life that is not fully understood right now. Some might even consider a little bit taboo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious as to how this came to be because it, it looks like it's going to touch a lot of subject matter and it's going to kind of bring to light in some regard the yeah. life of these people. Well, it looks emotionally heavy and it looks like an erotic thriller at the same time and also a period piece. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to be intrigued by. And right. Luke Evans, you know, I mean, after you see him as Gaston in Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. perfect transition. 
Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking all those those dashing uh, yeah. those dashing wiles into the past, <laughs> subduing them away down into a much more subtle. Yeah, it's just like Gaston. Well, we'll do a trailer review on a separate video, but you know, because most people already clicked off after the reaction's done. This is just for you random two people who stuck around here <laughs> for an hour. Or you, who just woke up and forgot that you were still watching. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to The Real Rejects, click that notification bell, Datch on Humphrey on Twitter and Instagram, go watch the review.